wanted to make a quick video today. Um, I want to try to keep it for around five minutes about hydration, sports drinks, salt, uh, a couple different topics here. We've had some issues with some of our kids being dehydrated over the past year or so, and this goes for winter, summer, spring. You know, we've had dehydration issues throughout the year. Obviously, this is more prevalent in the summer, especially in our gym because we don't have air conditioning, and um, a lot of the kids are playing sports as well, so um, we've had some dehydration issues, and that's just to me, that's just not staying on top of it. You have to stay on top of this stuff. If you're not staying hydrated, it's your, it's your fault. Um, don't be lazy, like I wrote down here. So, I just wanted to go through, we're gonna start with some of the performance aspects of hydration. Um, at, when you're 1% dehydrated, and that's 1% of body weight, uh, you, lose, you lose about 5% of your cognitive function. 2%, you lose about 30% of performance because your visual and spatial awarenesses begin to decrease, your timing and reaction ability decrease, and at 7% of your body weight dehydrated, um, you're, you're, you're more susceptible to concussions. So if you notice this, if you're a 200 pound athlete, or let's just, for math purposes, we'll make it easy, let's say you're a 100 pound athlete and you lose, you lose one pound of body water, that's 1% dehydration, now you're beginning to lose cognitive function. And um, I originally looked this up because a lot of our wrestlers, they, what they'll do is they'll dehydrate themselves in order to make weight. And when you dehydrate and you cut too much and you're dehydrating yourself, this is what you're losing. So all the stuff you're trying to build, you're tearing it down by dehydrating yourself. It's also, if you're just lazy and not drinking enough water and taking care of yourself, you're gonna dehydrate yourself. And all this hard work you've put in you're going to lose because you're dehydrating yourself. So um, we recommend 50 to 100% of body weight in ounces of water. So if you're a 100 pound athlete, that means 50 ounces to 100 ounces a day. Now, there's a big, um, there's a big gap there. There's a big, the, the, the gap between 50 and 100% is big. It's double, obviously, but um, you know, the variability between somebody playing a winter sport, indoors, climate controlled, as opposed to being outdoors, middle of summer, um, double sessions, training, so there's big variabilities in what um, athletes are doing and what their needs are, so um, that's why we have that big gap, but if you're somewhere in here, you're probably going to be okay, we're going we're gonna, to, we're going to, we're going to hit 90% of the athletes are going to be fine if they stay between 1500% of their body weight in ounces of water per day. A little pull and spring bottle, which I don't have one right now in here, but a little pull and spring bottle is 16 ounces to give you a, um, an idea. So a 150 pound athlete needs about 150 ounces, um, so that's probably about 10 pull and spring bottles, 9, 10 pull and spring bottles. Now you can easily see how that could be a lot, that could even be more in the summer months depending upon what they're doing. I recommend adding pink Himalayan salt. Um, something like this. They sell this in all the grocery stores to your water and your food. Stay away from table salt. You have to get away from table salt or just regular iodized salt. This stuff is in all processed foods. So I'm assuming that we're athletes, we're healthy, we're not eating processed foods, our parents aren't giving us processed foods. Uh, um, and you should switch from, if you are eating table salt, regular salt, switch it to wild salt. So wild salt just means down in nature. So pink Himalayan salt, Celtic salt, um, there's even like a truffle, I don't know if I even spelled that right, a truffle salt. Okay. The reason why table salt is bad is it's processed it's in processed foods, but it's also processed. It's stripped of its minerals. Um, so that is really why it raises people's blood pressure and it has anti-clumping agents in it so that adding chemicals to it makes it even more toxic for your digestive system. Um, so just stay away from table salt. Now, besides water, I get the question a lot about Gatorade, Powerade. I never drink Gatorade, and I, don't, I recommend that our athletes don't. Um, read the labels, okay? Read the labels. If you read a Gatorade label, 
you're not going to want to drink Gatorade. It's full of chemicals. It's not just a sugar. Yes, there's a lot of sugar, but sugar is basically you need to replenish some sugar so in a sports drink so but that's so that's not the worst part about it it's just that it's full of chemicals uh they dye it and all that other type of stuff so um i bought a coconut water if you read the label of this coconut water it says the only ingredient in here is coconut water right so you have sodium potassium some carbs you have some sugar but this is going to be much better for you than a gatorade or a sports drink uh, yeah gatorade powerade stuff like that now, all these coconut waters aren't the same either, so uh, make sure you are reading the labels on this stuff. So, this one just has coconut water, but some of them I looked at in the store, a lot of them are added sugar, they add in um, a couple different preservatives, chemicals, stuff like that. So, you want to make sure we're reading the label on these as well. And you could also make your own. This is basically what I do. So, you take water, um, I add some pink salt to it, or whatever type of wild salt you want to use. You could add in some fruit if you want, so fresh lemon, lime, berries, any type of fruit, oranges, just squeeze them in there, cut them up, put them in. Um, a pinch of raw honey if you want to make it a little sweeter, or even some stevia if you just want the sweetness. If you need the extra sugar, put some raw honey in. Um, I've also seen people do a sports drink with a greens powder. So if, you ha if your athletes don't like to eat vegetables, um, they should be taking a green supplement probably so you could put this greens powder which they don't really they don't taste bad they really don't taste like anything but mix the greens powder with some coconut water or regular water some salt um, or raw honey right so if you use the coconut water you don't need the raw honey obviously because it's already sweet but um, the greens powder salt coconut water would make another healthy sports drink so you know just Listen, read labels and don't be lazy. Like, don't be lazy. I know it's much easier to just throw a Gatorade, oops, to just throw a Gatorade in your bag to take a Gatorade to practice, but this is going to be much better for you over the long run. Think about how many Gatorades an athlete could drink over the course of a season, and it's horrible for you. So um, try to make something a little bit healthier. Um, we used to sell Gatorade here. I used to sell Gatorade by the cases every month. I used to sell tons of them. And I stopped selling them just because I feel like they're not good for you. Point blank. I'm not going to be... I was making money on them, but I said, this is not good for the kids. I'm not going to sell the Gator anymore. So um, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, we can come up with something for you. And um, yeah, that's it.